Hi there, this is John Link at Apache Village RV Center down here in Salem, Missouri, camping out this weekend in the 2022 Jayco J Feather Micro 166 FBS. Now we had three inches of snow this week. Um, you know, temperatures got down into the 19, 20 degree range. All I had this plugged into was a cord running up to the beautiful house up here <laughs> that, um, just has a 110 outlet. So I ran 110 right up to it. That allowed me to keep my batteries charged and run the furnace in this camper all week long, just fine. So if you take a look here, very minimal amount of work here to set this up. I've leveled it out with some Lynx levelers, dropped down the stabilizers, which honestly, I don't even think, honestly, I don't even think I needed that. Um, such a perfect camper for something like this and i was really impressed with how well insulated it was you know i didn't even run the furnace on more than kind of halfway probably to keep it at about 70 degrees during the night nice and comfortable and this little camper was just perfect for what we did this weekend <laughs> We're back at Apache Village here in Hazelwood, Missouri. This is John Link. We just got finished taking this camper out for five days in some pretty inclement weather. Uh, we started off at the weekend was like 78 degrees and then it ended up dropping down to 18 degrees overnight and we got three inches of snow. So I tested this out in a couple of different climates here and it performed amazing. What we're looking at here is the 2022 Jayco J Feather micro and this is the 166 fbs now i took this out uh took it to deer camp is what i did so i only ran it off 110 power didn't even have a 30 amp hookup what i was most impressed with the insulation this has an arctic package glacier package rather from jayco and is extremely well insulated now i didn't run water through it or anything like that i did have it winterized let me be clear there um, but as far as sleeping in it being comfortable running the furnace when it was down to 18 degrees i only ran the furnace at about half power it was outstanding so a couple things to attribute to that vbl these vacuum bonded walls are amazing these are built very uh, especially at the jayco plant and essentially what is a industrial sized kitchen vac sealer let's call it where it takes us entire sidewall cooks it for 16 minutes puts a ton of pressure on it 144 tons of pressure for 16 minutes and creates a very very well insulated strong wall what that means is you're buying something extremely high quality the rest of the industry does what we call pinch rolling now there's a couple other brands that have started to adopt this vacuum bonding uh, but a pinch rolled wall is what you're going to see as an industry industry standard this vacuum bonded wall is more expensive to produce, but if you're talking about longevity and buying something your family can have for a long time that's gonna perform very well, vacuum bonding is what you want. Now, if we continue to come around this camper here, let me show you a couple other nice features that I took advantage of this weekend. I have a small fridge out here. Nice compartment that is lit with an LED light. Right under that, you're going to notice this two inch receiver next to a uh, quick connect for your LP. There is a griddle that comes with this. So an outside flat top griddle, you use this system here. Oh, turn the light on. This system here, that slides into the two inch receiver. This platform is what the griddle sits on. And then you have this uh, connection hose right here. So when you're out camping, let me turn that light back off and you want to cook, you have something easily accessible that comes with this camper at Apache Village. So you kind of have a setup for a mini kitchen on here, uh, right above the little brush guard. So if this is a brush guard, if you look at this sticker, not a step, they're telling you not to stand on this. It is for, uh, in case you run up into a field or something like that to knock down brush, you don't have things scraping up the side of the camper. And also, it looks cool, so that's half the battle. Um, coming around the other side of the camper here, this model does have a small bump out. If you notice above that though, there is a Thule gear track up there. So you can put kayak racks on there, bike rack. I don't know if you'd want to get too much taller with a bike rack, but kayaks could go up there. 
you know, maybe a small pod for uh, extra gear and you'd have no problem mounting that. Now on this side, you have another small baggage door for the pass-through storage. All of these campers are pre-rigged for backup cameras and side marker cameras. They're also pre-rigged for solar panels. Now you could per permanently mount a solar panel on the roof if you wanted to, or you can just hook one up right here that will top off your batteries and keep them charged. Two 20 pound uh, propane tanks. I ran this for five days in cold weather and didn't have any issues with running out of propane. Now that being said, I didn't just let the furnace run all day while I was sitting out in the deer stand. I only ran it when I was in there. Um, if you wanted to run it nonstop the whole time you're out, you probably would run out of propane would be my guess. But um, five days, no problem running it all night in very cold weather down to 18 degrees. Now, looking at this slide out, I'll show you when we get to the inside. Not a very deep slide out, but it does make a huge difference in the interior just to get that extra space. Um, and then walking around here, similar to the 199 MBS video I did, this has the same Goodyear Wrangler tires on it. These tires are made in the USA. They have a six year warranty. They look great, but most importantly, you know, they're rated for off road usage. So you can drag this up, you know, a little bit rougher roads, take it off the pavement and go adventure somewhere, you know, go explore. You're able to do that with this. Tons of ground clearance as well. You know, we have major ground clearance for a single axle camper here. Solid steel wheel wells. You know, they won't find any plastic in these wheel wells here. So let me show you the interior of this really quick. All right, we're inside the 166 FPS. A few features right off the bat I want to notate here. We have this nice jackknife couch. So we have a 54 inch wide mattress up front, one of these nice comfortable teddy bear mattresses. Then here we have a jackknife. So you just pop this down and there's actually a table behind there. So we have that stored as well. You can use this table inside or outside, but quick and easy access to have more sleeping in here if you need it. There we go. And then it has a little flip down here for a cup holder straight across from your entertainment center and your stovetop. So this entertainment center is unique though. If you pull this little latch right here, open this up, you have a really nice kind of hidden storage area here. Now, I had the 199 MBS out recently, the bunkhouse model of this, and on the flip side, conditions were much more warm. So um, I've tested it now in winter weather, but in the, uh, event that you have some nice warm weather you know it was 75 degree high i think the last time i had it out i didn't even use the ac just rain this fantastic here and that was perfect you know i had plenty actually it's a max air fan sorry not a fantastic but um perfect climate in the fall to run something like that and not even have to worry about your ac in the bathroom here a nice shower medicine cabinet always going to have the extra dome in a Jayco. So if you're a taller individual, you're gonna appreciate that. You're not kind of squatting down, your head will fit right up into the skylight on this. And some extra hangers, some shelf space, your toilet and your vent up top. Now this is pre-rigged for solar panels. Here's where the controller would go if we had the solar panels on it. This weekend, I did not have solar power, obviously. We don't have it rigged up with that. What I did, just to make sure I had enough juice, is just run a 110 quarter thin adapter to my friend's uh, trailer that's down there. So they have a electric hookup and I was able to just hook straight up into the side of his camper and um, keep everything running off 110. Now the furnace right here, I only ran it to about half power in 19 degree weather, believe it or not. I kept it right at about 65 degrees, no problem. The furnace wasn't overworking or anything. It did a very good job in that climate. Big old 12 volt, uh, 12 volt fridge and freezer. On top of that, we really have gone over all the options. I think the main thing to keep in mind with these Jayco's, you know, there's a couple of different things. Customized A-frame uh, on the chassis. We have a two-year warranty versus a one-year manufacturer's mechanical warranty. Now you'll look around the industry, almost everybody just has a one-year warranty. So that's an entire extra year you are covered on small items that could break, um, you know, parts essentially. If this knob breaks, you're covered. If, these, if that light blows out, you're covered for two years. Big stuff, air conditioner goes out, something expensive. You are covered for two years, over 700 days of camping. Same with the refrigerator. Everything on here that is a part or mechanical part is covered under that uh, two-year Jayco warranty. 
So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, comment below in the video. I'll respond to anything you ask, uh, or you can contact us directly here at the dealership up in Hazelwood, Missouri. You can reach us at 314-895-4567. Once again, my name is John Link. We look forward to earning your business. Thank you. Thank you.